and we will play a um, <clears throat> custom scenario in this involving French and Italian forces in Libya. Give me a moment to get into my stream. Okay, sound check. Okay, sound check. Yes, good. Yeah, quite excited to return to command. And yeah, I think I already mentioned that I, that I was planning to play it again. And this scenario comes with an introduction. Um, first way you can get it, I showed you. It is on the Steam Workshop, but there is, a, I think, also a thread on the Matrix forums for you, for those who don't own it on Steam or don't want to play it there. It is Battle of Derna. Yeah, I really like the mission designer because he has really a great idea. He provides the scenarios similar to the live scenarios with a video introduction. And before we go get into the scenario, let's watch it. From one street to another, forces loyal to Libya's renegade General Khalifa Hefter storm into the eastern city of Derna. After heavy fighting, his troops have taken control of strategic locations in the city. In two or three days, we can say that the battle will end in the city of Derna. We are currently in the seaport of Derna, which is now under our full control. Some terrorist groups can currently be seen in some streets. God willing, within two or three days, we will eliminate them completely. Hefter's forces entered the city on Monday morning. They have been laying siege to the city for the last two years. According to Hefter's forces, fighters allied with the Derna Protection Force, previously in control of the city, are retreating faced with artillery fire and air strike. Civilian areas, including the schools, have been damaged in the fighting. Egyptian and UAE warplanes have been supporting Hafter's forces by targeting several areas in Derna. That's how you do an introduction to your scenario. That's not only for Command, that's for other games as well. It's um, already on a, a different level. Already on a different level. You see what place you're fighting for, you see you, the sad personality. Quite good production, I really like the music and the voiceovers, well done. Good, let's get into the briefing. Yeah, this is a better version, so we might expect bugs. It is released recently, but I want to check it out. Okay. I'll check out the other scenarios. It involves a lot of Italian forces, I guess. The scenario auto is from Italia or fan of Italian forces, so why not? And we will also see some of the recent tours of the Italian Air Force, for example, the F-35 built in Italy. Yes, it is a US design from what, what, what I've heard. The plane is entirely built in Italy. Entirely, I don't know, of course, some 
stuff coming from elsewhere, but it is assembled in Italy, let's say this. As a briefing, yeah, with a picture, always good. Because I tell you, a lot of commands, or also in other games, there are a lot of skilled campaign or scenario designers. And then they present they present it like, I don't know what. Most people won't even notice that it is perhaps good gameplay, good mission design. If your presentation, your immersion of the other factors are subpar. Imagine you're painting the Mona Lisa and then you, I don't know, put it into your basement and waiting for somebody to discover it. And I really like that he he uh, he he mimics the style of those life scenarios because those life scenarios I really love them. Might be that there is, I know there are a thousand mis missions. You can get millions of missions for command. With the community pack, you you have enough missions for until you die of of age. But I get I don't know I get thrown at me thousands of missions and there's not much I don't know about them. Many of those briefings are two or three liners. Sorry, I won't play a mission with a three lines of briefing. Yeah, you are, I don't know, US Air Force, uh, uh, South African Air Force is attacking you, attack back. Yeah, what the heck is this? I mean, and a lot of those people put thousands of hours into their missions and then don't, don't have five minutes of write a proper briefing. Come on, give me a break. Then it's really your own fault. Yeah, looks like we will fight by forces supported by Al Qaeda, and we will support an ongoing offensive into Derna. Let's get into it. Oh, there's a side briefing. Yeah, and look at this. This is so beautiful. You know, great, great work. You're already eager to read it. With some visual elements. I think it was really the developers of Command themselves who started with those elements, perhaps they even made it possible with some of those expansion packs and live scenarios. They really amped up the scenario quality. Okay, the Libyan National Army is reaching to the city to free it and we have to support it. We have airbase in Italy and France at our disposal. Cities that's besieged by Al Qaeda. Mechanized militia, air defense, AA troops, and a discrete air force. After they have conquered two airports, we will see some older mix systems and some older French Mirage systems. And we will go in with some Italian ships and yeah, with the recent F-35s or Eurofighters Tornado, we will check on the map. So establishing air superiority shouldn't be a problem. And then we will proceed with bombing all forces in the vicinity there. Let's go. Let's activate, of course, our tech view. A 
as I got it on a sale. God damn, where is it? Right here. Oh, should still work. Good, that's my command center as I always set it up. Message log with raw and a 3D view. Exactly. Yeah, I don't need this taskbar. Give me the further space. Do it. Thanks. Okay, let's check out the place. And what is the situation? Yeah, exactly. I need. Okay, well, I mean, in this mission we ca can keep on all ranged rings. But I normally like range rings only for the selected unit. Let's get some map information. Okay, airports. Not sure if I even need to hit those airports. Those guys, no matter what they send into the air, that must be Derna, yes. The harbor city of Derna. Yeah, I don't think we need city roads. I mean, we can check it out. Not the biggest, okay, but I don't need it. Okay. We have some old school spoon raiders. This might be targets for us. But first we need some reconnaissance perhaps. What is the weather here? The weather is light, high clouds, you can read it here. No rain, 30 degree, yeah, should be fine. Clouds at 20, 23k. Okay. This is, I guess, the ongoing advance, the pest. The airport, yeah, the Libyan National Army consisting of 44 units. This is quite a big thing here coming up. They are currently moving. Yeah, let's pause. Okay, let's check our assets. Let's get some mud data here. Yeah, like this. Exactly. And air airports, we have the, indeed some in France. Do we have here 20 aircraft, 30 Mirage? Can they even reach that far? Ah, of course they can. 30 Mirage equipped with general purpose bombs, four Stratotankers, tankers, four AA Mirage. Yeah, that will be secondary. I mean, the Italians will of course go in with their F 35 Lightnings. Oh, wait. They are equipped for JDAM missions and with Meteors. Uh, but Meteor, why is it saying Meteor? It carries four M M Rams. Internal. Meteor. No, it is M Ram. Meteor is a European. It's similar to an MRAM, but perhaps I don't know, whatever. I'm fine with whatever. MRAM or Meteor. I guess. It is, what is it? MRAM C? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's tornadoes. Strato tankers. What is this? Another tanker? Okay, is this Italian ship? What is this guy that's frigate coming with? Something interesting. MU90 impact, what is this? It's a torpedo. Oh, okay. 
but no tomahawks or something. Milas uh, and the submarine, okay. What's this? Sea Viper and the aircraft there. Yeah. Now this thing has no strike capability. Yeah, they are only protecting the carrier. There's so war. Yeah, this we already checked out. The VFS Ghibli, Studio Ghibli. I don't know, is it good? Looks like they're training with it. Looks like a CAS aircraft, something like a Su-25. I guess. And it is equipped for something. Okay, more F 45 Lightning. They will become our main course of establishing air superiority. Perhaps together with the, 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 the Auto Fighters, they can also do well. Both should have no problems to down those Al Qaeda aircraft. Equip is harm. Yeah, that is important for they might have Sam's. This will become our yeah Hawkeye. I want to launch this as well. Or if I guess this meteor. I they carry those. I think that's a meteor. Oh, so the LST is something different, but it is similar. Okay, that's it. Let's check if we have missions. No missions, so great missions. Man, is this really control insert? <laughs> God damn, this is not reachable with one hand. Control. Oh, oh, forget it. Ah, exactly. Define area was what I always did. Yeah, that's very fast. So, so I want tankers somewhere here. Next, we will have a mission for, I say, somewhere in the nearby, the AVEX. Then I want an area, wait, strike aircraft waiting. Hello, hey Mohammed. Then I want a 
air, uh, waiting area for aircraft, which I can then manually send over or whatever. Let's do it somewhere here. Good. Then I want an air superiority mission, which I will first put here, and then we can drag it, drag and drop it wherever we want. Let's see, we have an airbag, we have a race track for the tankers, we have a waiting room for strikes, we have a cap. Is there anything else I need for the beginning? Not really. No. Good, um, let's deactivate the, I think the one third rule, <clears throat> on the other hand, let's keep it activated for AVEX, deactivate it for CAP, no, don't investigate outside of patrol area, Some weapons range, yeah, that is often. No, I will do it myself. Active emissions only inside patrol prosecution area. No, keep it activate. Uh, race track, yeah, for the tankers, keep a one third rule. Waiting room, no. Just looked at a sort of a joke on the comic mission shop for us to communicate an opinion of the threats on and said playing in real time without putting any tactics and just rushing is. Yeah, don't listen on some brablers who tell you um, they know how to play or how to play, not to play. Simply play how you enjoy a game. You can handle it. Sure, there are some, as in my setup video, I, I explained there are some pros and cons to playing every way but really don't listen to those nobody else listens to them as well if you play real time enjoy it if you have issues enjoying real time for example it is too much stuff for you to handle and you're not good at pause management and indeed or the force count is big or you have several hotspots for which um, turn-based would be better, definitely do it. Other than that, play how you enjoy it and don't listen to some people. That's this an old rule of nature, people who talk the most, uh, or want uh, not to talk the most, who are most eager to change your behavior have the least clue. It is, it is like this. Yeah, this has, has absolutely nothing to do whether you play real time or turn based if you rush or not. You can both r rushing whatever you he whatever it means both both you can be aggressive or rushing or you can take your time. This 
I mean, every intelligent person should know and I mean, multiplayer is a different story. I don't know if you talk about multiplayer because I think in multiplayer, I guess, real time is not possible to to pause that easily. I'm talking about single player, but you are seem also to talk about single player. Multiplayer, I don't know, could be that you need to play fast paced um, because you can't pause. I also multiplayer. I play exclusively in turn based. If I play with, most times I play with relatives or whatever. I play combat mission and turn based, but it's also because it's simply easier because a single game you can pause it um, easier and <clears throat> play hot seat. I often play hot seat, not often, but if the opportunity presents itself. Okay, we have a waiting room, so let's start the stuff. Avex, um, yeah, I might do it from the airports. Um, the list is good here, but it gives me a better sense of, of understanding. And also don't listen to everything that is written in the combat mission forums. It is, <laughs> yeah, always test, always do a me meta analysis of it and wait what others are saying. There's also, there are a lot of great people there who have a lot of clue. And there are people that have thousands of posts that still have no clue and also will have no clue in with 10,000 posts more. <laughs> and there are also people who have little posts and have a lot of clue. Um, yeah. Offensive ECM, yeah, I definitely want to prepare this for the seat mission. After we gained, but do I want to wait and first wait how the air superiority goes down? Yeah, air superiority is definitely the first thing we want to achieve, so let's do this first. I think the aircraft don't need long to traverse this, that is not a big distance, so we don't need to send everything into the air right now. We have time. So send those lightnings. Perhaps you want to keep a one third rule for their cup as well. In the beginning, yeah. And I do play retail and I didn't did a mission in German campaign but lost two squads with the loss of one squad as injured two. Yeah, if I, for beginners real time can be perhaps more challenging than turn based. Because you might loss, lose awareness, battlefield awareness easier. Either pause often or play turn based. And take your time. But you can do it in both. But it, in real time, you're responsible for yourself to hit the pause key, of course. And I remember when I started to play, I often didn't do it, I missed it simply and run out of time. So keep this in mind. This uh, involves a certain demand for multitasking and keeping track of your stuff. While in turn based you can take, I don't know, a week for a single turn. I mean, you can take also a week for re real time by hitting es escape simply, but you get the idea. Okay, let's send Panther 5-6, assigned to mission Cap Libya. That's it for the time being. Yeah, tankers, Challenger 1, reserve available, ready up, uh, ready arm as a tanker. Both assigned to the racetrack. What is this? This we will keep. This is also tanker racetrack. That was not okay. First air airport done. What is this ca thing carrying? Harriers. 
Amphis Aim Ram. We just sent them in. Sidewinder, I will keep them in. I don't know. Sidewinder only. Not in the beginning. But wait for the others to launch because otherwise you will end up alone in the AO. Four tornadoes to cup. Three more lightnings. Have an early warning. Yeah, you, my friend, and you ready up for the same. You too. What is this again? This is the propeller. Yeah, exactly. This is what they also use on the aircraft carriers. Yeah, offensive ECM sounds good. Come to the AVEX and then we will see. Okay, tornadoes are equipped with harm. Do I want to launch those things immediately? Not yet. It would be a second phase. But we can launch some F 16s. Oh man, there are even a lot of reserve aircraft. But they are still readying up and then we will see what we will equip them, equip them with. What's I want to is achieve for air yeah, superiority. Okay, for the second, wait, did I manage this airport here? No loadout. Okay, they need a loadout. GBU, Gen. Laser guided bombs, yeah, I, I like it. Give me those laser, laser guided bombs. But they can only carry. They can only carry. Okay, yeah, then we'll do it. Uh, MK82 GBU16 payphone is bigger, right? <laughs> like bigger bombs. I like big bombs, I cannot deny. Yeah, they look, look bo both, not small. I mean, <laughs> what is it? Uh, wait, let's check it. What is it carrying? A GBU16 is carrying home. What a payload. Where can I check this? 500. Yeah, they, I think they are both same. MK82, I think it's also a 500 one. No, it's even. No, it's 240. Yeah, sorry, I take of course the 500 ones, please. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, on the submarine. Do I need to do ASW? Is the LKE the in possession of a submarine? Yeah, I mean, it is, a f it is not fully fully um, historical. Who knows? Could be that they stole something there. What is, is Libya operating any submarines? Uh, 
Okay, Italian, almost done. Italian are done. <clears throat> oh wait, not completely. Yeah, we wanted to wait, but yeah, no, what? I really. Why are they carrying no. Oh, there's no ammunition here stored. Okay. So while they are waiting here, we will see perhaps something comes over. Good, now the French. What is this? Mirage 2000. GBU 49, what is this? Paveway 2, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Do I want to get a second racetrack? I mean, nah, they need to fly over here and in case something happens we can land them as an Italian act. What is a, a, a Mika EM? I've, I mean, those are not really good, those are short range missiles, I think, right? nautical miles. Yeah, do I want to launch them? What is this? Uh... What is a Mika EM? Oh, this looks... Okay, yeah, okay, you can't. Come over, my friend, come over. It's fine, come over. Okay, let's go, be ready. Everybody's texting now. I see soon a lot of launches. Let's commence. It's early in the, what is that local time? 11 o'clock here and 10 o'clock in Italy. Okay. You would be great if you would hit at night, my friends, but okay. Perhaps we need visual ID. Um, let's use the time. I mean, we can speed up a bit. Two, five. And let's use the meanwhile, let's check the site of green. This setting, yeah, is this not the practical ranges, kinematic range for automatic and manual? Yeah, this is a big important setting here for, for submarines. It seems, for example, there's a range where they fire, which is yeah, practical according to SOP, standard oper operations procedures, which can be quite below the maximum weapon range, which is a big thing for submarines. Uh, exactly, no tankers reviewing tankers, that doesn't make sense. Techniers refuel, whatever. to stay passive. I think I want to go active, right? Is there any reason to be afraid from those guys? No. 
to active. Yes, activate all radars. They're active. Yes. ECM active. Yes. Sona active. Who knows? Normally passive, of course, you want to stay passive, but I don't expect from the enemy too much. Are, there, are those guys ready? No, it's because. Uh, what the heck is this? Okay, a lot of aircraft getting up. Mm -hmm. What is it? Okay, they have aircraft in the air. Yeah, um, that's because the missions have this. Ac no, it's not active. So. They should be active. Yeah, they're running radars, okay. What is this? A skunk? Uh huh. Let's check this thing out. The, yeah, but it's okay. Okay, tanker. Okay, four F-35s taking point, that's good. That's why it's now it's running so slow. I think he shouldn't. Is this really, was this really necessary? Something is <clears throat> calculating heavy, but uh, it's not a unit amount. This is quite a small scenario. Are we getting jammed? No, we're jamming. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this is. I could imagine that he put too many ground units together this year because I never saw. Yeah. This is causing some collision stuff. And it's also unnecessary, really. I mean, this is simply flavor. What the, what the heck are they coming in here for? Striking my Italian aircraft carrier, what? My friends come over, I'm waiting. I mean, we have only four, but those lightnings, they are lethal.
Yeah, for some reason the scenario really runs not that bad. I'm not sure why. Absolutely no reason. The unit amount is so low. I think it's also the first scenario that puts so many ground units into so, such a close space. I could imagine this is causing problems. This was not the best idea. And you can also define a single ground unit without the need to give a 44 infantry platoons, which is not even authentic. They definitely. Simply, I don't know. Army, whatever. Period. Unnecessary stress. 